The urgent need for better treatment of Alzheimer's disease and other kinds of dementia was highlighted this past week with a report that said dementia costs this country as much as $215 billion a year. Well, now there's a fascinating study going on involving some new drugs that might prevent Alzheimer's. We get details tonight from NBC's chief science correspondent, Robert Pizzell. The Heinrichs of Davenport, Iowa are among 100 families worldwide taking part in a daring experiment. It's an exciting time. Uh, it's very exciting. It's also very scary. Each member of these families has a 50-50 chance of having a rare genetic mutation that brings on Alzheimer's in the 30s, 40s, or 50s. For now, most families have chosen not to know which of them are carriers. Now, an enormous milepost. Scientists have chosen three drugs that could stop some of them from having a certain future of Alzheimer's disease. There is hope that we've got something to move forward on. In the drug trials which started last month, family members are receiving either active drug or placebo. Based on brain scans and other biomarkers, the researchers will decide which drugs look best and continue with those to see if they can prevent Alzheimer's or at least slow the progression. The three drugs target a protein called amyloid beta that many scientists believe causes Alzheimer's, not just in families with a rare mutation, but also in the common form that strikes later in life. Similar drugs have failed to halt Alzheimer's, but scientists now believe they gave them too late. From studying families, they've learned the brain decay of Alzheimer's begins decades before symptoms. This study is not waiting for symptoms. In a family that has an early onset, say, at uh, 35 years, they could be as young as 20 and still enroll in the So you could be giving drugs to people as young as 20? Yes. All three of these individuals carry a gene mutation. The scientists see this as their best shot yet. We have a good chance to prevent brain cells from dying and hopefully preventing the onset of Alzheimer's dementia. Let's go over here. The scientists hope to see results within two or three years. Robert Bazell, NBC News, St. Louis.